Um, so again, like uh, it seems that Zanfredo would experience it, like at least two more uh, encounters. Holy shit. Uh, How many is this? With these creatures, <laughs> it's about. F- I think he had about five or six Holy shit. Um, encounters that that they kind of they talked about um one of the you know uh, what i like about this guy is because mostly whenever we have these encounters with multiple abductions they're always like well i was just i'm chosen i was chosen from when i was a child they've singled me out i'm special and this guy's just like i don't know why i don't know why this is happening to me i wish it would stop by yeah (laughs) you you, that's pretty that's a pretty good observation because it's like yeah uh from most of this like uh, Zanfredo like doesn't want anything to do with this. Like when they give him the crystal ball, I think they actually give him two because the first one he like spikes and he's like, I don't want it. Yeah. I get don't that want shit. Wrong guy. Yeah. That's he, shoddy he, craftsmanship. He, yeah. <laughs> what I tell you, not to me. Hey, not to me. Hey. Like he tries to give get it back it to them. Or, or he, <laughs> but they they give him one, and it's kind of like uh, he forgets what he does with it because they give it to him and he, he doesn't really remember um there's some uh, there's some rumor that kind of went around like uh, some of his colleagues had seen him come into work or, or come back from one of his shifts and he had like dirt on his hands like on his gloves and his hands um and they kind of uh surmised that perhaps like he had buried, buried it, it somewhere like he had buried this 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 item this crystal ball i mean it happened like listen and i fucking i come home and my keys my wallet gone no buried. idea buried I take them out. I put them somewhere. Fuck. Oh, do you play that game too? I love that I game. Can, I do no, that I game too, that game. where I I even put special hooks up in a special spot for keys. I mean, I've never once it. put my wallet or keys there. I lay yeah. them wherever they yeah. lay every single day, different spot every day. So it's like zero. A, it's zero a mystery. Lives. In the morning, I wake up and I go, <laughs> "Where are my keys? Where are this my wallet?" And they're never in the same spot. My wallet. Was just gone for two and a half weeks, and I found it like two days ago. Did you find it in between your seat? Uh, it was underneath pants, the couch. pants pockets. Oh, it, underneath, no, the no, couch. underneath the couch. Yeah, don't ask me how it fucking goes. Yeah, I got to have. I got a feeling that fucking. I because I asked now. I'm like, did you take my wallet? And I got a feeling he did, and he grabbed it and then stuck it under the couch. Oh, because sure he was he guilty. He was feeling yeah. guilty. He didn't eat, yeah, so he lied. I think so. so he it? Dude, I fucking, I literally went through my banking app and like backtracked my steps for two weeks and went to stores. If one place I went to twice, I was like, I know you fucking have it. I know you have it. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't feel like an asshole. So we're not my, going back there. My wallet we're not going back a, to the air zone. We're not going my back. Wallet has like my wallet has like a little magnet on the inside of the wallet that's my also my key swipe to get into my work. So it's like I need my wallet in the morning or else I can't get into work. Just wait for somebody else to show up. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I do. I, I, I have to. I've done that a couple of times where I'll be like standing in the cove like, Hey, thank you for coming in. <laughs> uh, uh, some other details that would come out of the, the encounters, the hypnosis sessions was that uh, Zanfredo was in contact with these beans, but the, the primary point of contact was Almak. And this was the prince of what the, the, uh, these prince beans the apparently in their, <laughs> their species was called the Dargos. Oh, is what they, they sound kind of like lizard themselves. They're like fucking lizard people, man. Some type of reptilian yeah. species or something lizard like that. They do, yeah. That def- definitely gives that vibe. Bunch of fucking Kirk Connors. <clears throat> yeah. <around. laughs> well, I mean, green. Um, well, one of the descriptions that all like kind of stuck with me is that seemingly there was like an outer layer of skin that moved. Did you guys read anything about that? And I thought that maybe that was some sort of like high tech spacesuit where it was like skin tight and there's like a secondary like epidermis that just like was moving like that coated them. I'll tell you right now though, this time of year, you fucking like I could do it right now. I slap my belly and it moves for a bit. Oh, fuck. I know yours is <laughs> fucking moving for Woo! two weeks. So, yeah, damn. Yeah, Mine right, might right, not stop. Lecture. Maybe it's just a thick planet. Yeah, that's, it's just a little thick. That's the Homer Woo! Simpson. Yeah. What you're saying, just yeah. keeps wiggling. Yeah, yeah. Just keeps wiggling. The wave. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, so Zanfredi's uh, Zanfretta. final Zanfretta's final hypnosis session would be in on August twenty eighth. It's a of fucking 1980. doozy. It's a doozy. And this is the one where they were at. Like they asked him, they, they were trying to get to the bottom of 
where the lo- uh, to find the location of this this crystal ball that he had been given, and they had talked about like they gave him this, and he was supposed to give it to Jalen Hynek. but he buried and, like, it. Where yeah. is Maybe, it? Maybe may or may um, not have buried it. Yeah, may or may not have buried it. So they're trying to ask him these questions, like specific questions about whatever, and. <laughs> Most of the responses, frustratingly enough, is that Zanfreda kept responding with something with like the phrase along uh, something of the phrase along the line. Negative question for you, Tixel. Well, hey, listen, we already know this guy's already been in contact with his union rep. We know. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Like he's not saying shit. Well, I mean, this the attitude you get from him does really line up with someone who does not. He's like, I don't want to participate in this process anymore right it's like uh it, it it lines up with this person was given this object he buries it and he's like i don't, I told them not to give it to i smashed the first one i don't want anything to do with this they're not listening i'm burying yeah, it i don't want anything to do with this or the dr hanky panky i don't want yeah, none of this shit. i'm not doing it i don't give a shit go contact right. him leave me alone right so they're like when he's under hypnosis asking he's like no no negative for you next question Nope, not answering it. Next question. We done? Next question. Yeah, yeah. and they, they really couldn't get any more information out of him, and it was almost like a frustrating like it, – it's kind of a funny read when, when you read the transcript because it's just like – it's just him. They're asking him really basic questions like, do, like, do you understand me? And he's like, nope. yes. Like, <laughs> is your name – is your name – is your name like Pearson Fred? Nope. Like negative question for you, Tixel. Like, you know, and it's negative question for you, Tixel. 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 Negative question for you, Tixel. What the fuck is Tixel? They what don't, is Tixel? They don't know. Don't know. They Italian? try to ask him. Well, they ask him. No, they ask him like, "What does Tixel mean? Like, what is that?" And he's negative. Like, negative question for you, Tixel. Like, it's just he keeps responding with that phrase. Um, That's so what I'm going to start using of, that. <laughs> so there's some kind of idea that either like he was being blocked or something. Because uh, oh like, shit, as, I didn't even the, think about that. Like he was right. being controlled, and something was. In his brain, answering for him. Right. Oh so shit! That's one I didn't of even the, answer. One well, of the it already happened, right? When he was <clears throat> when they were radioing him that one time, yeah. he got all calm and fucking. So they've already been in his brain. They've been up in his guts. They know. <laughs> they fucking know, man. <laughs> Inside and out. Yeah, because in one of the sessions, like in one of the sessions, uh, Zanfredo's kind of it's it's recorded of him saying that like he he can contact the the Dargos like telepathically like he, he can call them he says like i'm trying to call them right now like i'm trying like he tries to call them from his head but it, it causes him discomfort and pain to do it um yeah because he installed and, a fucking mobile phone in his head <laughs> right it fucking hurt um so there there is that you know there is that suspicion that perhaps you know maybe it was some type of block if, if these these beings had placed on on him responding anymore uh to this um the creature the, the dargos had communicated to him apparently um that they wanted to they were coming to earth because they kind of like they wanted to communicate with us but it's also that they expressed the the concern that like we're not ready um that but y'all aren't ready aren't to hear prepared it. yeah yeah um and that they were just kind of either like they had ships they had many ships apparently like they had left their system sounds like a threat um which was like uh they had left their system where their planet or their star was dying and so they had come to earth um even though that earth apparently to them is like the 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 climate of earth is is not good for them it is not ideal for them they like when they come out on into the atmosphere uh, of earth it pains them uh so they just have these like it's like the, he, he under hypnosis he, t- he talks about like there there are hundreds of ships in orbit around Earth just kind of floating around where the Dargos kind of kind of live um, under the you know their Prince Almak. Did you just slow burp into um, the mic? Me? Yeah. yeah. He's been gripping and ripping him. You've been slow burping the night. mic. Oh, I, dude, he's I heard stop. It. It Negative a- question for you, Tixel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> after his final hypnosis session, like Zanfretta, like the entire case would just kind of like that. That was it. Like he, he wasn't contacted anymore. Um, <clears throat> and, and he probably, he really didn't want anything else to kind of do with this because he kind of fell into, 
you know obscurity uh like uh, he he was plagued by they said he you know he was plagued by pranksters and people calling him like in, in, in like phone calls day and what, night his health you know, his health um, declined like crazy he started yeah. to hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video